Hey guys, as many of you know, Halloween event is currently going on in the game, and it lasts until the 9th of November. Part of this event has you collecting different masks for use in quests. So in this video, I'm going to go over how you can farm masks and how to complete the actual quests. So right now, you have two different methods of acquiring masks. One requires you to use silver to buy packages from Tess Everest. The only reason to do this is to get a special mask that can only be obtained from those legendary packages. Also, the rewards from those packages are random, so you could very well spend $20 or more and get the exact same mask for every package. Now for everyone else, this is the proper way to actually farm masks for the event. When you complete your initial quest from Ava Levante, you get an item called the Empty Candy Satchel. As long as you are wearing a mask and killing things in PvP or PvE, you will get candy. To do this quickly and solo, I go into the Defend the Warmind mission and kill everything until the night at the top of the stairs. Then I jump off the side. Repeating that three times would have my candy bag completely filled and I could go turn that back in at the tower to Ava Levante to get a mask. Repeating that whole process took me about five minutes and also helped me get the masks I needed to complete the quests. Now onto the actual quests. All of these will reward you with a Gifts of the Lost package, which again turns into a mask and gives you some various consumables. The first one is called Lethal Masquerade, and it requires an Engram mask and the Crota mask. Simply go get 30 kills in the Crucible while wearing an Engram mask. Once you do that, don the Crota mask and get sword kills in the Crucible. If you want to just swap to the Crota Mask and Sword when the heavy ammo pops up, that will be fine as well. The next quest is the Team Effort quest, and it requires the Traveler and Speaker Masks. Put on the Traveler Mask and go complete a Tier 2 Court of Oryx event. Keep in mind these masks don't have a light level, so make sure your light is high enough to actually do damage to the mobs here. After that, put on the Speaker Mask and complete a Heroic Strike. Again, try and maximize your light so you don't die so easily. The final quest is called Mask Task, and will require the Tiger, Cryptarch, and Atheon Mask. As of right now, the Tiger Mask one is bugged, but in a good way! Completing Court of Oryx events counts towards the Tiger Mask portion, so go complete some Court of Oryx stuff while wearing it. After you complete the event, put on the Cryptarch Mask and pick up any engrams you find. The Cryptarch Mask part requires looting the engram, not decrypting it. Court of Oryx is going to be the quickest way to actually farm those engrams for the portion of the quest. After that, you need to relive one of the greatest moments from year one. Put on the Atheon mask and jump or trip off the side of the tower. So doing all of that will complete the quests. As of right now, we don't know if completing these quests will lead to something else later on. But with Bungie's track record for this expansion, I imagine something will probably get unlocked at a later date if you complete all the quests. What it is, if it even is a thing, I have no idea. It could be nothing. Anyway, I hope you guys found all this information helpful. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.